people have asked me before, how did you start the library? Yeah, well, it was 2011. Um, I initially conceived of a three-month art project, and it was street books, a bicycle-powered library. My focus was people living outside that might not be accessing the mainstream library. And I had two stops that first summer because I was by myself, uh, South Park Blocks outside the art museum, and the other was Skidmore Fountain. Yes, I remember Skidmore Fountain. I was sleeping on the sidewalks in Old Town at the time. I remember coming up to the book bike for the first time and looking it over, and I noticed something missing. Where is the wood house, I said. What kind of a library are you running? I remember that very well. You busted my chops then, and you've busted our chops ever since. But it's pretty cool this many years later that you're on the Street Books Board of Directors, that you're running your own library shift in Old Town, and it's very cool that we have a book coming out. It's true, we do have a book coming out. And let me ask you, is it true that it features a taxidermied armadillo? It is true. It's this very armadillo right here. Won't you meet Armando? I found Armando in a dumpster when I was out canning. And this book, is it true that it alternates between our points of view and tells the story of the street library? It does do that. And how about this? It describes our friendship, but it manages to avoid the schmaltz and sentimentality of so many friendship books? We'll have to let our readers be the judge of that. <laughs> Speaking of our readers, we want to announce that pre-order for our book, Loners, The Making of a Street Library, is now available. It is $15 per copy. We plan to make all copies free to our library patrons. If you'd like to support these efforts, you can order two for 25. Thank you so much for your support. We're getting there. We're getting there, doggone it. <laughs>